everyone, hello and welcome back to the wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs, where I am still celebrating the fact that we got our birds of paradise, you guys. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. Paradise is our very first puppy who represents everything that I wish to do with our Wobble Dogs, which is to give them a feathered tail and feathered wings and make them absolutely adorable. And uh, yeah, Paradise is having a great time just like trying to fly around on their own which is so cool it kind of helps balance out the fact that actually they're a little bit of a very cranky rude pup <laughs> who also happens to be social so i feel like they have been chasing poor celery the eighth around just like trying to be super social but when you're social social and rude i think you might be a little bit of a bully i am not gonna lie oh and poor Celery the Eighth is apparently food adverse. So, and they're also noisy and they're also social. Boy, that's gonna make things a little bit tricky. Like, oh, okay, let's praise for eating. Cause it's gonna be hard to feed this dog if it does not like to eat. So I wanna go ahead and praise anytime they'll try. But all right, so we left off last time with celebrating the birth of paradise, which makes me very happy. And now I really wanna make sure that they can get a sibling who has the feathers and who has the peacock tail so that we can kind of keep a whole bunch of puppies like that stocked <laughs> in our genes so that that way we can keep that, that lineage going. Uh, and I also wanna work a little bit with some of our other puppies. Hey, Froglet. Making sure they have enough food to eat. Oh, and Fiona is already ready to go ahead and puppy. Let's go ahead and feed our little squirrel dog. Oh no, don't throw up. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's go ahead and clean this up. Let's feed our little squirrel dog a teensy bit more of the garlic bread because we're trying really hard to get some of the genes. There's at least a couple of them. Some of the genes that will make that squirrel tail a lot bigger going. So there we go. And I also need to maybe spend time with some, I guess most of our dogs. <gasps> Did you just do some digging? Oh no, you were trying to fly. Good job trying to fly. Oh, Celery, you're already ready to pup bait too. Okay. Man, they just grow up so fast, you guys. I want to have them start trying to do a little bit of digging. Like with Paradise here. Maybe I can have them. Do you want to do some digging? You're trying your best to dig? Yes! Yes! Because while we're waiting for the puppies to grow up, I really want to be having them do a lot more digging. Because we have apparently- Yes! See, we just got another little toy. We apparently have a lot of toys that they just have not unlocked yet. Um, and let's go ahead and eat this, eat this fortune cookie. To make your wings even bigger, huh? And I should make your tail pretty big, but we'll work on that. Man, Paradise literally- No, don't throw up! Oh, dang it. I really- I needed that. I needed those jeans. Well, all right, try try again. Let's try eating this again, please. You're sitting on top of the fortune cookie, so how you're gonna eat that, I'm not sure, but. All right, let's feed a few fortune cookies to them because I really wanna make sure we have the bigger and bigger and bigger wings. I just really wanna, no, puppy. Okay, there we go, phew. I always hope if I can get them to puppy before they throw up, maybe it will make things a little better. All right, Fiona, let's go ahead and hatch you so you guys don't have to sit in there forever. All right, and I'm going to clean this spot up. And we have a little bit more blue and darker legs. The front leg stance has gone dramatically up. Uh, let's see, the tail size has indeed increased at least 2%. I'll take what I can get. As Celery the Seventh proved, if you add up those little micro additions in size over like the lifetime of the dog, you actually end up with a bit of a difference because Celery's wings grew a lot from when they were a puppy. All right, so Fiona's doing good. And meanwhile, Paradise is all wiggly. Still, still cooking in there. Clean this spot up. And now we have Celery the Eighth. All right, all right. Leg color, carrying on. Man, those those uh like jeans from the gelatin just stay with the dogs and really help predetermine their color for so much longer than they thought they would because we have not fed gelatin to this line of dogs for two generations. And they're still inheriting a little bit of gelatin from each parent. So that makes me wonder if we're really careful and critical with what we can do with the... um 
the like genes that have to do with bigger wings or bigger tail if they if we could get a line of dogs that just keep inheriting that from generation to generation <gasps> wing size up almost six percent i'm telling you it, it adds up it may not look like it adds up but it's gonna add up all right paradise you're up next gotta clean this spot too clean 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 and oh those wings oh those beautiful wings body color has shifted just a little bit i feel like those legs have gotten a lot longer but no their their length has actually gone down wing size up almost six percent excellent i don't like seeing the tail size go down so maybe i'll like have these two go downstairs to work on getting bigger tails <laughs> like celery the seventh but we'll get there eventually but all right, so now that we have these guys already growing up so fast, I really can't believe that's happening so quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy digging. Excellent, excellent. Just in case something really cool could pop up. Oh my gosh, we're doing like a lot of digging right there. All right, just a dirt clump in that case, but now Celery the Seventh seems to be trying to do something with that dirt clump. So I will let them be and drag a dirt clump myself mostly so the dogs don't eat it but also to help out all right and then i'm gonna clear these there we go and now let's try to get a, another sibling for paradise because we want to have pavo's glorious tail and we want to have i think pavo and sephiroth were the ones that we we mixed together and we had that mix with if i couldn't have a blue dog with the feathered wings and the big tail i would be very happy so let's grab one of the blue dogs and don't give up hope i know it looks like there's no hope because there's no wings and there's no feathered tail this happened last time we didn't give up hope let's try breeding the blue ones all right we've got huge tails which is so exciting and they're the bat wings so what we need to tease out from this group now i think is actually, let's grab this tail, is the dragonfly wings, because the dragonfly wings, when you when you breed the dogs with them, seem to really encourage having the, the feathered wings. So if you can get dragonfly wings, then a little bit of, yes! Oh my gosh, okay, we got feathers. We got feathers, that's a good thing. Where's my feathered tail? Not here, but we do have one of the little beaver tails. Okay, this is a really cool looking dog. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the size of these tails. This is amazing. Oh, and here's another dog with more wings. So let me think about this. Okay, I should probably try having the dogs with wings crossbreed. Okay, this is gonna be harder than I thought. We're gonna really have to like work to be able to get the mix I'm going for. But I love what's currently happening with these dogs. The colors and the mix of jeans is so cool. Yes, okay, so we do have the wings kind of trying to sneak in. I will take any of the variants of feathered wings, even if they're unexpected variants. Okay, and then let's see, maybe you, because you're really cool looking. So, come on, I wanna see that special tail. We're starting to see the feathered wings again. If I have two of them with feathered wings, we'll go for that this time. This guy has huge wings and a huge tail. That is so cool. And then this one has, right here, has huge tail and the feathered wings. So let's get away from the bat wings. Oh my gosh, they're like a bunch of gloriously weird angel dogs. I love it, I love it so much. And now let's see if we can maybe guide everybody back around to having the feathered tail. That's what we're really after here. Because I need Pavo's feathered tail to spread amongst our dogs as well. All right, not the feather wings I was going for, but like there are the feather wings that I will totally take. Um, and I'm getting a little worried about the dogs being kind of short, but they have huge tails and huge wings. All right, come on guys. Oh, you guys are all such good puppies. You've got so many of the traits we're going for and you look so cool. Could you just give me the feathered tail, please? Because we're, we're like almost there on the skull. Okay, this one has a smooth tail. So let's go with smooth tail puppy. 
And then let's go with this puppy, I think. Because it's it's very long tail, long wings. Ah, oh, man! Sometimes these genetic experiments just do not go the direction that you kind of had your fingers crossed for. But that's okay. Alright! These ones may not be for the aviary. That for, like, the efforts on specific crossbreeding we're trying to make. But I really like where we're headed. There we go! So I don't know if that's the biggest set of like wings and the biggest tail that we got but i really like that we at least put the effort in Whew. well all right paradise i'm not gonna give up maybe i should not have gone with the variant i'm thinking that maybe the green dogs carry the genes that we were really looking for so that might be our next goal yes another dog egg oh thank goodness that was actually a contribution from celery i'm so relieved hey pavo you know what, maybe I should just try to get, like, we'll go for Pavo's tail this time, because Pavo and Froglet are the only ones with the feathered tails right now. <gasps> Froglet, are you ready to puppy too? I just really don't want to lose those feathered tails, because I will be very sad about that if we, if we lose the feathered tails. Oh, Froglet's just having such a good time. I can't wait for Froglet to be grown up, because multiple feathered tails and already having wings. Oh, that's going to result in some really cool dogs. Oh, hey, and Goose is actually ready to go ahead and puppy too. Goose, let's go ahead and feed you this. I'm going to remove your, your little toothus. Thank you very much. You are so absolutely precious. I love our tiny little goose, you guys. They're just so cute. There. And then Froglet, are you almost done with your little mutation? Almost. I'm gonna come in and actually gather all of the poop and destroy it. Oops, no, not remove. I wanna destroy it. And then I'm going to actually gather all of the, oh, there's a bunch of eggs. <gasps> yes, okay, we're gonna very, very, very carefully remove these eggs. Oh, I said gently. Oh, I'm so glad that those can't break. I would be really upset if they broke. All right, froglets ready to go. There we are, oh, let's see. Oh, Froglet's gonna give him more green! Again, you see those genes carried from generation to generation. It's been a little while since we've had the, the uh, like, gelatin, the jelly out, unless they've been downstairs and eating some of it. Uh, tail size has gone up, body width has gone up. I just love seeing all of the funky donkey genes that we can get. There you go, Froglet. Good boy. Meanwhile, let's go down to Goose, also ready to hatch. Any dramatic events this time, Goose? Oh, just being cute. I just really love Goose. That was an unexpected little pup. And we're getting a little bit more wing size and tail size there. Which are the genes we're going for in the end. Excellent. All right. So with those ones taken care of... Oh, wait. I need to go ahead and remove this very quickly. Sorry, Goose. We just don't want to, like, mix those genes in with all of our projects. And with more eggs collected... <sighs> Let's see, who do I want to- we want Pavo's tail. I really, 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 really want Pavo's tail. Let's mix Pavo's tail with, let's see, celery again? Or Sephiroth? Let's try celery again and let's see what happens. And this time, keeping my eyes peeled, massive litter! Oh, they've already got some really different looking dogs. I'm kind of tempted to grab this pink one, just just on principle of like, we haven't had a pink one for a little while. Uh, but I also want to keep an eye on these green dogs. All right, let's see. <gasps> there we go. Okay, so we have at least one that has the feathered tail. So I'm going to actually look for, oh, and this one. Oh, this one has the wings. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, feather tail wings. Dang it! All right, so we didn't end up, we all have a whole bunch of smooth-tailed dogs. So let's actually try breeding two somewhat similar smooth-tailed dogs. Yes, there we go. Now we have got the feathered tail back. That's good. And we've got some wings. They're dragonfly wings. But as we've experienced in the past, sometimes when you put two dragon tail wings together, you actually get the feathered wings. I feel like I'm starting to find some patterns. Oh, we've got the feathered tail. We've got the wings. Okay, come on, come on. 
Okay, Feathertail is on lock. I am very happy about that. Let's see if we can find two dragonfly wing dogs. There are two dragonfly wing dogs. All right, do I want these two or these two? Okay, okay, come on. All right, all right, let's see. Dragonfly tail, dragonfly, or dragonfly wing feather tail, dragonfly wing feather tail. I might try for another type of mix, but I just really think that's our best bet is the dragonfly wings and the feather tails and just patience as we go ahead and we see at least we have the tail now to be fair like we, we don't have as many feather tails as i would really love so i'm i'm very happy to at least keep those guys with us i think we're, we keep losing like a head here and there too all right oh man it looks like we might really be locked in on dragonfly wings but let's not give up because you didn't see any wings on our first batch right but we persisted we ran the simulations that one's missing a wing no wings so we don't want that guy in our jeans now all right big old feather tail oh i love the colors on this one that one's so cool come on guys no all right well at least we have really a fantastic layout with the feather tail we have some cute eyes i like the color it's not a hundred percent what we were going for but now pavo's giant feather tail lives on and that's really what i was like missed that we would lose man it is a lot harder when you are specifically trying to go for certain wobble dog traits um and also a lot of fun when you just get ones that you never expected <laughs> i will admit but we're making it happen, friends! We are indeed making it happen. So Froglet seems to be just dancing and living their best life back here. I love seeing happy puppies. We have a whole bunch of dogs who are starting to look somewhat similar, but don't worry, that's all part of the master plan. Uh, now I also need to convince these guys to stop fighting and to go ahead and get even bigger and bigger wings. But I am so proud of how far our projects have come, you guys! This is gonna be so exciting. Now I just need to teach these guys to dig so that then when we aren't looking, maybe they'll go ahead and they'll start producing some of the dens for us. Cause there's apparently just a ton of dens that, there you go, yes, yes, so proud. No, don't sit, dig, dig. Oh, celery never wants to dig for me. <laughs> because apparently there are just a ton of different little little toys and there's a ton of different things that we've just never found would you guys stop fighting long enough to dig for me <laughs> that i would love to be able to see our dogs actually discover so thank you guys so much for joining me we are indeed chasing down those elusive genes and if you'd like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures yes we have praise digging all the way <gasps> and we just got another jungle den upgrade Paradise, you truly are one of my puppies of paradise. I am so proud right now. <laughs> if you could, do please leave a like for our awesome puppy paradise. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.